balloon moms. It's not one of the things you normally think about in the summertime, but they're a long game. So this is my latest project. I say latest, I had to order these like last fall because they tend to sell out. Heirloom mums have been on the rise again in the flower farming cut flower world for a couple of years or so now and I've been following along. I finally decided that I wanted to add these to my collection and something that I can offer in the future. So it's time to pot them up. I ordered these plugs and they came in about two weeks ago and they were hmm, probably about half this size. And I went ahead and potted them up to get them a little bit better rooted. The roots are all the way to the bottom of the cups now, I checked, so we're gonna pot them up in these one gallon. And then eventually I'll pot them up into three gallons, but we're in transition and moving, so they're going in the one gallons for now. And when you think mums, chrysanthemums, um, you know, traditionally we think the big bushy ones you buy at the garden centers with the little tiny blooms. These are heirloom mums, and most of the ones I got, think homecoming mum, but a little bit smaller and gorgeous colors. This one is Vienna Waltz. This one is really grown. This one is River City. And actually, I could take some more cuttings on this one and make me some more plants. And I got Crimson Tide. <laughs> I'm not a red fan, but this red burgundy is really pretty in the fall, which is when mums decide to bloom, when the days start getting shorter. Roll Tide. Ideally, we'll pot these up a couple of times until fall, and then when the days start getting shorter, they'll bloom. This is the freebie she sent me from Wild Dry Farms, and it's George Couchman. This one is like a orangey, reddish color. It's real fallish. It looks good with pumpkin. I have quite a few more that I really wanted in the mocha, mauvey, burgundy colors, that, and some spider types that are coming from Three Porch Farms next week. Goal eventually is to have a mother plant that I overwinter every year and that I can take cuttings just like they did and sent to me and then I can make lots more plants so I'll have not lots more blooms. <laughs> enough for me to enjoy but also enough that I can use them for florist or to make arrangements. It will come September, October, November and probably December for us here in a warmer climate. We'll have blooms for fall.